Well, hey there, I'm Melanie. Welcome to Novi Yoga Studio. And today we're going to be moving through a lunar flow to honor the full moon. So lots of juicy, flowy movement. Some of my favorites. All right, so let's head on to the mat. And we're going to start out in just a comfortable stance. Maybe feet a little wider than hip width apart. And we're going to start with some side bends. Get nice and soft through the knees, arms by the sides. Inhale, you're going to lift one arm up. As you exhale, you're going to root into your feet and pour yourself over to the side. You can look down if the neck is tense. Inhale up. And exhale, other side. And let's keep that going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. Rising up, both arms reaching high. Then bring the hands to the back of the thighs. You're going to fold forward and you're going to press the palms into the backs of the legs. So sweeping the length of the legs as you fold. Down into Uttanasana. From here, let's widen the base, turn the toes out, and we'll come on down into Malasana, yogic squats. You can have the elbows set on top of the knees or to the inner knees. Press the palms together, expand the chest, reach the crown of the head towards the sky. And a few breaths here into the lower body. And while you're breathing there in Malasana, I'm just going to turn side on, which will make the rest of the sequence a little easier to instruct. And from here, touching the fingers down. And we're going to lift the hips up, parallel the edges of the feet, coming back to Uttanasana. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to step the, the left leg back. And we're going to come into a lunge, so knee over the ankle, take a breath in. Exhale, reach the right arm to the sky, open up into a twist. Let's move with breath. Inhale. And exhale. So these lunar practices uh, about lengthening, opening, lots of breath, especially a focus on the exhale, maybe taking your time a little bit more. Take your hand to the mat, lower your back knee down. We're going to come up into this low lunge. Inhale, rising up. Make sure you have that support, strong navel, tailbone long. Maybe you want to turn your gaze up. Maybe you want to open up a little bit more into a back bend, completely up to you, or you can keep the gaze neutral. And then bringing your hands down to the mat, curl the back toes under, straighten the leg, and shift the weight forward. Come all the way up, balancing on that, that right leg. And we're going to come into Vrikshasana, tree pose. I'm going to turn to face you here. Tree pose, we can bring the sole of the foot to the inner calf, the inner thigh. Maybe you want to take a half lotus version. So find your way into your tree. Let's draw the hands together in front of the heart. And picking that gaze point, some more you can keep looking to help you maintain balance and stability. And while you're holding your tree, I'm going to shift my position. And then you're going to point your knee forward, reach the arms up. And we're going to seesaw down, hands to the mat, step the leg back. And we're going to open up into warrior two. So turn the back heel down. Windmill the arms open and up we rise into the warrior. From here, turn the front palm to the sky. Inhale, pour back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, taking it forwards into side angle. And again, inhale, really indulging in that length. Like you're pouring yourself from side to side. One more breath. And exhale. Now this time we're going to come back into reverse trikonasana, reverse triangle. So straighten your front leg as you pour yourself back. And then from here, arcing forward, sliding the back of the hand towards the shin as the other arm lifts towards the sky. Today I'm going to come into extended triangle, so I'm going to reach the arm alongside the ear. Up to you, you can keep the arm lifted towards the sky. And then coming back up, hands come down to the mat. We're going to come onto the knees, all fours. 
Anahata Asana, stretching the arms forward, keeping the hips stacked over the knees, and melt the chest down, down, down towards the ground. And taking a few breaths here into the shoulders, the armpits, the neck, the chest. And sliding on through, forearm flank, and tucking the toes under, lifting the knees. Keep shoulders over the elbows, neck long, gazing just between the thumbs. And then coming on down, knees, pelvis, low ribs, press into the forearms, untuck your toes, roll the chest open, sphinx pose. And then take your forehead to the mat, slide your hands underneath your shoulders, and press up and back into your downward dog. Let's hold for a couple of breaths here, and if you want to move around, you can certainly add that in. Any sort of hip opening, rotation of the ankle, stretching of the face, sticking out the tongue. And I'm going to soften my knees. We're going to walk the hands backwards towards the feet. Finding your way to ragdoll, chin to chest. Slowly roll up. Take the shoulders up and smoothly roll them down the back. And we're going to step forward to the top of the mat. I'm going to start facing you. And we're going to, again, open up into that little wider than hip distance stance here. Inhale, reach arm up. Exhale, standing side bend. Inhale. And exhale. So really find your roots in the pose, reaching down into the feet, into the heels, and then stretching and lengthening from that place. And rising both arms to the sky, bringing your hands to the back of the thighs, and as you reach through the heart, as you fold, press the hands down, down, down the back of the legs. From here, turning the toes out and letting the hips sink down between the heels. Pressing the palms together, malasana. If you can't quite get your heels grounded, you can certainly keep the heels lifted. And then you might want to shift your weight into your hands as a way to open up the hips. So you can modify as you need. And while you're holding your malasana, I'm just going to turn this way. And then from here, fingers touch down, hips lift up. And we're going to walk the feet in towards parallel. And then we're going to step the right leg back behind, coming into a lunge, knee over the ankle, inhale. And then exhale, left arm rises to the sky, ringing up the spine in that juicy twist. Inhale, take the hands under. And exhale. Inhale, lower. And exhale. Take your hand down to the mat. Take your back knee to the mat and rise up into crescent, into that lunge. Chin can be neutral as well. And hands to the mat, curl the back toes under, shift your weight forward. We're going to rise all the way to stand on that left leg, finding our way into tree pose. So you can bring the foot to the inner calf, the inner thigh, or you can find your half lotus. And bringing the hands into the heart, palms to press. And really squeezing the sole of the foot into that standing leg. Make sure you place the foot above or below the knee, very, very important. And then pointing the knee forward, reach the arms to the sky. And we'll seesaw down, hands to the mat, step the leg back. And we'll anchor the heel down. Opening up into warrior two. And right into that flow. Inhale, pour yourself back. And exhale. Stretching forward. And again, inhale. And exhale. Lots of space being created through the side waist, the ribs, the intercostal muscles. Should feel real good. And this time as we come back, we're going to straighten the front leg without locking the knee. Pour ourselves back, back, back. 
reverse trigonasana and then all the way forwards into triangle and again I'm going to take the arm alongside the ear today but you can keep the arm extended up any tension in the neck you can turn your gaze down and then rising up hands down to the mat we're going to come into hands and knees we're going to take it through that more lunar vinyasa starting with anahata asana so stretching the arms forward and relaxing the chest down. And then keeping the palms, the forearms grounded, let's slide the heart through, forearm plank, shoulders over the elbows, navel in, tailbone long. This time we'll find a few pulsations. Inhale, bow the head, curl in towards your center. And then exhale, reach the crown of the head forward. So hips stay as they are. It's a coiling into your center. Inhale, think about your frontal hip points coming up to meet your chin. And exhale, crown forward. And one more breath, inhale. And exhale, slowly lowering down. Untucking the toes, press into the forearms, roll the heart open, sphinx pose. And come on down. From here, you can press back into Balasana, child pose, knees together, knees wide. Enjoy a few deep breaths there. So it might be nice to try the sequence two, three, four, or five times. It depends on how much time you have and depends on what kind of mood you're in. So I hope you enjoy that lunar, juicy, flowy flow. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Shanti.